Oh, we can't talk about that. We can't, no, 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 no. I'll tell you when the camera's off. Honestly, that shit doesn't fucking matter at all. There's still security at every building. Really? Still the same thing. Nothing has changed, but everyone asks me about it and asks my friends about it, and it's still the same shit, I think. Um, okay, well, I haven't tried to skate any of these government buildings. I only skate at Pulaski, kind of. <laughs> that is it's controlled by, like, park services, so it's considered a park. I ran into a cop down there. John Maring was with me and I think asked if he was getting paid and the cop was like, no, not right now. So they're still on duty, they're just not getting paid. I honestly don't know how the other government buildings work, but nothing has changed at Pulaski Park since the government shut down. We've ran from cops every day. Pretty funny. How did that come about? John Maring was in Virginia somewhere, a writer for the Washington uh, Wall Street Journal got in touch with him and John called me and said, yeah, let's go shoot some photos. By the way, I'm supposed to meet up with someone from the Wall Street Journal. I don't know how that's gonna go. I said, all right, well, I'll be downtown skating. You know, meet me at Pulaski. Sure enough, we all met up and she was really cool and we kind of gave her the whole rundown of skateboarding there and how it's always been and with the cops and that was it. And But she saw firsthand how it, how it works because while we were sitting there talking, like kind of noticed all the other skaters disappeared. But I was already talking to the lady, so I wasn't paying attention. And then sure enough, here comes a motorcycle cop on the uh, on top of the plaza. At that point, I was like, oh shit. Well, there was nothing I can really do. I can't, I can't run from this guy right now because we've already kind of made eye contact. Yeah, I just stood there and see, they'll, they'll yank. <laughs> Okay, this is funny. My friends have been like, uh, just talking shit, like mall grab, like I was mall grabbing my board. Well, that's the only way they can't take your board. How are they gonna snatch the board out your hand if you're holding it like that? My friends gave me shit because John shot a photo of me standing there and the cop on the motorcycle next to me. And you know, just being my friends gave me shit about holding my board like that. <laughs> I was like, okay. That was our moped gang. Like five or six of us skaters, and like one dude got a moped and just jamming around, and then we were like, wait a minute. That's way easier than like getting in my car, driving through the city, trying to find somewhere to park, to skate. And we're like, you know what? I'm gonna get one of them too. And then, you know, we all got them. But I never went long distance. It was only between like my house, the bar, and like Pulaski. That was it. That was like 10 years ago. I was in like this rich part of town called Bethesda and I had a lady friend on the back and I guess the cops didn't like that and just you know pulled me over and told me I cut off a tractor trailer. I didn't like stop at a red light and just went right through the red light, which is not what happened at all. I was like, I probably would have been dead if I did that. And they were like, nope, we saw you do it. And uh, yeah, they ended up fucking me and giving me a DUI. They towed my moped. <laughs> they called a tow truck, towed it, handcuffed me, took me like a few blocks away to whatever their little precinct. 20 minutes later, they're like, all right, you can go. That was weird, like they didn't take me to jail or nothing. They're like, all right, you can go, but you're not allowed to walk home. You gotta walk to the main street and catch a cab. And I was like, oh yeah, okay, cool. I just walked home. Well, I was couch surfing for five or six months between November and April. Me and Rodent were staying with Matt Bennett in Long Beach, and then that apartment came up, and I was like, fuck this, dude. I've been couch surfing for five or six months. I don't, I'm, I'm ready to get a place. And Rodent's like, yeah, me too. Signed the lease in April. I stayed for two weeks and went on a skate trip. Came back like a month later, stayed for a week. That's it. So I've stayed there for three weeks. I've been paying rent since April. What is it now? November, October? Good storage unit. Blake lives in the closet. 200 bucks a month, you can fit a twin mattress in there, smoke some weed and forget about it. I don't know, I haven't seen all the episodes. Bam, me, <laughs> really? We went out to Clyde's. I think we had a few beers, yeah. yeah. Seven bucks pop, 10 beers. Thanks, Tony. Uh, we were in New York, it was a cricket trip and Dan was like showing me graphics. And I was like, I want to ride for freedom. He's like, do you really? And I was like, yeah, I think it would be sick. I'm into it. And then, yeah, he put me on the team. Stoked. <laughs>
Dan draws some funny shit, dude. I decided to film a part at the only place I want to skate, Pulaski Park. Film it with the camera I want to film with, the VX. I don't care what anyone else's HD, this, that. I like the way the VX looks. I want to film a whole part at Pulaski, and that's what I've been working on all summer. Skate to whatever music I want to skate to, not worry about uh, having to get rights or any of that shit. Put together something that I'm stoked on and just put it out there. I don't know, it's just a fun summer project. It's really what it was. Like, we don't have HD cameras and shit in DC. We still use the VX. No one has money for that HD shit. Just so gonna give it to Deluxe. The interweb stuff. What's up? This is Bobby Warrist. I just got a free coffee, free lunch. Subscribe to Ride Channel. <laughs> <laughs>